Today we're going to do video installation instructions for the 5701 F2L alfresco fountain with light. When you get your kit, it's going to be a CK470. It's going to have the instructions in the kit. It's going to have your pump, which is right here. And it's also, that's a PS1.5. And you're going to have your AB870 light kit, transformer and complete light. Okay, we unravel the pump cord. You have your flow adjuster, which you have to start by inserting the cable to the top end first, where the holes are closer to the top. Run it all the way through. light is going to set inside there like that now we will run it all the way through the 5701 top We could just set that in right now because it's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to turn this around. Next, we're going to insert the slit barb adapter into the 5701 top. I usually put the cord in there first, holding it taut so the light doesn't fall out the other side. And this does not have to be terribly snug because it will drain back down when you turn the fountain off anyways, but it won't leak when we're pumping. This cord from the white and the pump through the alfresco, there's your mouse hole where it's all going to exit. See? This extra cord is okay. Do the same thing with the pump. So this will all be tucked underneath the alfresco. So will this extra tubing here be tucked into the alfresco. Now you have your rubber stopper, which is basically a two hole rubber stopper. So somewhere in that area is your split. You can see the rubber stopper is designed with a little grommet type effect in the middle that wraps around the pump cord. And the smaller hole will wrap around the light cord. So, there it is around oops, the light cord, the pump cord. And both around the pump cord and the light cord. Snug it up there, and then you want to get it in until about maybe an eighth of an inch at most is sticking still out. Anything less, it probably isn't as snug as it could be. So you've got your pump in there, got your light in there, and you basically established a watertight connection. For the alfresco fountain, because we do have a little limited area there for the pump cavity, I prefer to take off the feet and give us an extra 3 eighths of an inch in height. And snap back the pump. Make sure that the opening 
is to max because if you turn it it'll reduce the volume of the pump which we don't need we have our flow adjuster to do that next step would be to connect the tubing to the alfresco to the uh, slit adapter So the next step would be to connect the water tube to the pump and have everything neatly underneath the alfresco top. I don't think there's going to be enough room. center of the alfresco into the fountain. Get the end of your low voltage light line. Move your threaded closure. Adjust and set up the holes properly. This will hold it in and make it watertight. So here's your two plugs to make the light work and the pump work. I'm checking the level by eye. It looks good this way, it looks good that way. If you need to level it with any of the shims, you can put them underneath this part or you could also put them underneath the base. So here's my power. It's got three outlets, we need two. Okay, the light works. Next, we'll check the pump and see what we have. You can see how the flow adjuster is dumping a volume of water while only a little bit comes out of the light. We need a nice quiet flow of water to make the alfresco work the way we liked it, the way we designed it. Looks pretty level to me. 